Now I want to show you how to make the rainfall. Um, so we don't have actual rain in this video. Um, if you look here, there's no actual rain here. But if I want it to look like it's raining, then uh, what I'm going to do is I, I need to create a, a new layer. So let's go up to Layer, New. And then we're going to create a solid layer. And whenever it gives me some options, we're going to make sure that the background for that layer is black. That's going to be really important because whenever we use a, we're going to have to use a blending mode and it's going to have to work with the right kind of blending color so that it, uh, the rainfall will look right on top of the other stuff. Okay, so anyway, and for the name of it, I'm going to call it uh, rain. Okay, well, let's call it rain solid if you want, right? So, okay, so I'm going to add rain solid. And right now, it's going to be above the text, but we might want to move it below the text later, but we can see how it looks above the text too. So if I create this rain solid, um, then I'm going to go over here to my effects and presets, and I'm going to find something called uh, CC Rainfall, and it pops up right here. All right, so we're going to drag this uh, effect over here onto the rain solid layer that we just made. All right, and then automatically um, you, you start to see some uh, raindrops right here, um, but if I move the if I start to move the playback head, you notice that it's solid because it's a solid fill of black, right? Well, I can't see the text or anything else underneath it. So we need to change that blend mode to add. Let's see, right there. Okay, and so now what it's doing is it's adding and we can see through it, which is perfect, right? But you have to decide, do you actually want the rain on top of the words or underneath the words? And that's really kind of your call. I think I kind of like it underneath, but again, that's your call. And what the other thing is that you could do is, there are lots of different ways, right? There are a lot of different ways you could do this. One way that you could do it is you, if you liked having the rain on top, maybe you could have it kind of keyframe in so that it gradually comes in. That's one option. I think I like it though whenever I drag that underneath the text so that it's masked and all I see is the rain behind the text, which is kind of nice uh, in, in my opinion. Although right now it's stumbling a little bit with my playback because I've got a lot going on, on my computer right now. It's doing a lot of rendering. Okay, and so that's my preference. You may like having the rainfall on top, but then later, um, if we continue the rainfall, you'll see that it still shows on top of this video, even after we're done with the rest. Now, I think that this is a little overkill, this rain, the way that it is currently. And so what we can do is in that effect, we can come and adjust some of those settings. So if you look up here in my left corner, um, you may have switched over to project, but you can also grab the effect controls up here. So uh, I'm going to look for these effect controls and I've got CC rainfall selected. And I think that I don't want 5,000 drops. Let's say I want to see what it looks like with 4,000 drops. And it's going to add fewer drops. And so I might want to see what that looks like. Uh, I think I also want to see what the size of the drops look like if they're a little bit smaller. So let's uh, just grab that and drag it down and kind of see what that looks like as I'm dragging. And let's see what maybe two and a half looks like down from three. And that's already looking a little bit better to me. The other thing is, is it's just coming straight down, right? It looks like, and if you watch the trees, they're kind of moving a little bit. So there's, uh, well, maybe they're not really, but I like the idea that there's some wind, suggestion of wind. So, um, you know, I could do something like uh, have a variation of wind. You could do it like, let's see what happens if we do like 400. And that makes it sort of tilt slant off to the right a little bit. You could also use this as a negative value, like if you wanted to make it go from the other direction. So let's see how that looks. All right, um, 
and that might be fine. You might, whatever direction you want, it's fine. And the other thing too is if you want, this is kind of cool, you can have the, the wind vary. So um, you could do a variation of the wind and see, you know, what that looks like so that it will, the wind isn't consistent and constant, but it, it varies just like real wind does. And so you can see how that looks and it kind of changes up a little bit. So that, I think that that might look good. So let's do like a little bit of rendering out here so we can see. And we'll move our we'll move our um, workspace to only include that for right now so that it will render pretty pretty efficiently. And let's hit the play button. I think I might be okay with that rain. All right. So you could also like change the speed if you felt like the speed was too high. And, you know, I, I might not want to lower it too much. Let's see what 3000 looks like. So let's try that again. And I think that's too slow. I think I might like it back up at 4000. Because it's raining pretty hard. Like that's how we want it, especially with the wind being strong the way it is. And I think it, it could possibly be, let's try like 3800 and see how that works. That might even be a little bit better. It seems like it was pretty fast. And I might be pretty happy with that. Okay, so anyway, those are some settings that you can play with. You can keep on going. You could adjust the color, the opacity, if you don't want it to feel so strong or if you want it to be stronger, whatever. Okay, um, all right, let's move on from there. And so now we've got some rain. And uh, the next thing that we're gonna need to do is actually animate that text.